It is the first day back at school today. Um, the school holidays is over. So for us, that means back to homeschool. And something I was gonna talk to you guys about was a couple of videos ago, we said that Evan was in high school and that Otto's in primary school. And heaps of you guys in the comments seemed a little bit confused about that because high school in Australia is quite different to high school um, in the US particularly. I'm not sure how it works everywhere around the world, but here in Australia, we do primary school um, is up to year six generally, which is how old? I guess 11 years old. And then high school is 11 to 12 up. It's year seven plus. So we don't have any, um, what do they call it? Middle school. There's no middle school here. It's just primary school and then secondary school, but generally we call it high school. Um, and some, some schools actually go up to year 10 and then they have a different school for year 11 and 12. But for the most part, high school is seven eight nine at ten eleven and twelve so that is what evan is at the moment he's in year seven this year so that is high school which yeah. is crazy and he's just growing so fast we measured the kids yesterday as we do occasionally when we suspect some growth spurts have been happening and how tall were you evan um 161 centimeters yes which is crazy because i'm 167 so that means Evan is only six centimeters um, shorter than me. And I reckon he will probably overtake my height this year, do you think? Mm, yeah. Let's see if it happens. By the end of the year, is Evan gonna be taller than me? We'll see. So anyway, yes, Evan's in high school or what we call high school here in Australia um, and a lot of you guys have also asked if we're going to keep homeschooling through high school and essentially we have no plans to stop homeschooling unless we have a good reason to um some of you remember that the kids went to school for one year that was just in 2021 and i can't believe it's already 2024 now is it yeah. yes it is it was last year too <laughs> based on my christmas videos that we're talking about <laughs> Um, yeah, I know that you won't let me forget that, <laughs> but yeah, so it's 2024 this year. They only went to school in 2021. Some people are like, oh, I thought they went to school and, um, no, that was just for one year. And we've actually been homeschooling since like mm, 2017, I think. I don't know the first year you were registered, you were four, cause you have to register your kids for homeschooling on the year that they turn, I think it's four years and six months. That's when they're in foundation year. Why? Why six months? I don't know why it works that way. It's essentially like you can be born in the same calendar year, but be in a different grade based on what, when you turn that age. So some people stop at a certain age in six months. Basically, this is how I can explain it the best. The triplets were born on the 3rd of July. If they were born a few days earlier, if they were born at the end of June instead, they would be in year four this year instead of year three. Well, a few days makes a big difference. Well, it doesn't really, but it's just the way they've done it. Yeah, Evan is in year seven this year. And yes, we're still homeschooling and a lot of people ask if Evan wants to go to high school. Do you want to go to high school, Evan? No? No. <laughs> So I don't have any interest in sending the kids to school and they don't have any interest in going to school. But as they did go in 2021, could be a thing in the future if we found a school that we felt aligned with us or if for some reason they wanted to go. Um, especially as they get older, there are some sort of like schools that offer certain like 11, uh, year 11 and 12 programs that might be appropriate as they get to that age. Um, but that, that leads me to another question. People ask, how do you homeschool and then go from that to university if you want to? There are certain pathways to do that if that is what you want to do. But anyway, we're homeschooling. We're all happy with that. But what I was going to get at in this video is that, um, so basically we don't really have like a set curriculum that we use for all the kids during homeschool. We pretty much just pick resources that we like for each child based on where they're at, based on what we think is working well for each different different subject. So 
We don't have one specific thing that we use. That being said, this year for Evan, we thought we'd try something different and we're trying something called UCA. So it's a curriculum, essentially. Um, it used to be called Complete Education Australia because it is the complete curriculum. It, it follows the, the whole Australian curriculum um, for where Evan's at school-wise. So that is something that we have decided to try out this term, except, yeah, we've started this term started actually at the end of last term and we've picked term one for year seven. So he's technically a bit behind for this yes. year because we were doing other things for the beginning of the term, but that's okay because we'll either catch up or we will end up skipping a term. The problem with UCAR that I found, I mean, the problem with picking a curriculum is that it isn't very like catered to the child so i don't know it doesn't completely completely match like you've said it's pretty easy or some parts of it maths i think your maths is too easy isn't it yes it's like place value yeah buildings. yeah so if the maths that evan's doing at the moment is way too easy for him but i don't think he's really complaining <laughs> um but that being said i think the other stuff's fine like the other subjects they're they're mm. all right they're not too easy are they or are they a bit too easy no, the um, science last one last week was a bit easy. But sometimes it's okay for it to be easy. It makes it more enjoyable, right? You don't want everything to be, like, so hard that it's not <laughs> enjoyable. Yeah. So, anyway, um, I think you can actually choose to do, like, if, if when we sign up for the next term, we can go maths and we can choose that you're working above grade level and you might get some different work for maths. So we might do that next term and see if that works out better. But anyway, that's what we're doing for Evan's schooling this term. And I thought I would show you guys some of the Yuka stuff. So a lot of it is like printed out stuff, but a lot of it's also online. So do you want to show me what you're doing here? Um, finished most of week one. Yeah, all right. So Evan is working his way through week one um, and you tick these off once you've done them. And this stuff, is this a combination of the online stuff and the bookwork stuff that you yeah. have to tick off here? So there's a lot of stuff that is printed, some of the stuff that is on the iPad. Um, I can show you guys some of the work samples. Uh, Evan has been reading the book Wonder. How much of it have you read? Will be like 60 pages, because that's what it's told me to read. Yeah, so he's just reading it like as he's meant to, this book. Um, and so there's a lot of work on that for English. I'll just show like a few pages. So I won't really show everything in here because there's quite a lot. So it pretty much covers most things. I don't think it covers language, but we do that separately anyway. Evan's learning Japanese. He's mostly learning it on Duolingo. Anyway, so that's what we're doing for Evan for year seven. At the moment, we're doing Yuka. If you guys are homeschoolers in Australia, you would probably know what that is. Um, and we're not sure if we're going to continue doing it. We just thought we'd try it. A lot of people do a bit of trial and error with their homeschool curriculum stuff. I'm not sure. I like I like plucking things from different areas, like I've said. I like getting workbooks and, and then doing some other things like some online courses. Um, but this is just what we're trying out for Evan in Year 7. And yeah, we'll just see how that goes. Um, if we really like it, we'll, we might do it for some of the other kids too. But at the moment, I prefer to have more of like a, a mixed curriculum from a bit of this, bit of that. I find that's what works best. What do you want to do at the park? Have you gone down those slides? Yeah. I was going with Rufus. You were going with Rufus? Yeah. Yeah? And now Rufus is playing soccer, isn't he? Yeah. What are you going to do? Play with Birdie? You're going to go down those slides. Hey. <laughs> 
So I'm just making a little snack board for the kids, um, afternoon tea I suppose. We're going to do some celery sticks, some carrot sticks and some capsicum, just a whole bunch of veggies. We've also cut some cheese and we are adding some dips. This is Moroccan dip that I found as well as some hummus and some Philadelphia cheese. I use two packets of these crackers. Um, usually out of these platters, the carrots are the last to go, but they otherwise, they will finish the whole thing um, if they don't leave a couple of carrots behind. And these eggs, I was just gonna do hard boiled eggs cut in half, but I decided to make them into curried eggs instead and the kids loved them. And then just some fruits um, and I like cutting the bananas like this and leaving some banana peel on so they can peel it off themselves. They find that really fun. Taking a video. Yeah. What are you doing, Birdie? Um, Zelda. You're holding Zelda? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys love holding Zelda, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And Sylvie. Sylvie does too? Yeah. And me. And Birdie. Are you be gentle with Zelda? Do you know how to be gentle with the baby? Yeah? That was a little baby. She is a little baby. Are you guys gentle with her? Yeah. Yeah? Does she like cuddles with you? Yeah. <laughs> Aww. You want to pack away Zelda? Yeah. Do you want me to take her? Yeah. Anyway, we're going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you again next time. Yeah. Bye. Just for now.